All right, guys, we're here with Kim, and he's invented a personal deployment airbag, personal airbag deployment system for both motorcycle riders and construction sites. So this is more of the motorcycle rider vest. It's fully inflated. This is a safety vest that you would wear in a construction site. It's deflated, and you can see where it's inflated right here. So here's how this operates. It, in, it notices a sudden increase or decrease in momentum. You don't actually have to have an impact. What it does is it uses a sensor so as if you fall off a scaffolding as you're falling, it will actually inflate in midair in 0.2 seconds. So by the time you hit the ground, this will be inflated and hopefully prevent injuries. If you're on a motorcycle and it notices a sudden impact where you're going from 65 and all of a sudden you're flung off from the motorcycle, it's going to sense that, inflate this, so that when you hit the, by the time you hit the ground, you're gonna be hitting the ground with an airbag. This is by Safewear Inc. It's, it's come, this is a working prototype, Kim, or is this a prototype? Yeah. This is a prototype, so this is, he's got this in development, so just keep an eye open for it coming soon. So the CES has over 4,400 different companies that come here to exhibit. They come from 160 different countries, and the event itself is spread out over 11 different locations. Now there's over 250 different breakout sessions available. Basically what that means is there's a lot of stuff going on over four days and you're never gonna be able to really see it all. And I don't envy the person that had to organize this whole crazy thing because it's actually done really well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Have your bags open. If you're carrying a bag to the CES, they will go through it. They will ask you to remove everything from the inside to make sure that you're not carrying a bomb. We're looking for bombs? Indeed. All right. Bombs, switch blades, anything that could really harm somebody. Indeed. All right. We're all good to go. Are we good to go? Thanks, you too. It's a painless process, but it's still something that you've got to do. Security is tight at every entrance and exit point, but that's to keep you safe from other people. So this one is by Omron and it's a computer that can not only anticipate the movements of the player, but it's actually designed to progressively increase in difficulty as the player's skills increase. Now it will recognize body language, but it also has a large component where it recognizes facial expressions. It's trying to determine the mood of its player. And what it does is it tries to match the difficulty level to the current existing skill level, but also the mood of the player to optimize the performance and keep the player engaged for as long as possible. Okay, so who makes this? Um, so we're a company called Fordex. We're a Chinese uh, startup company. And you're called what? Fordex. Fordex, okay. Yep. How long will that go on a battery? Um, 13 miles. 13 miles, thank you. Sure, would you like a brochure? Robotics are everywhere at the CES, and we're going to be taking a look at some of the latest in robotics, including robotic dogs, but also robotic servers that you may be seeing in restaurants in the near future. Let's check one out right now. They took our jobs! Welcome to the world of robot servers. I think this is like a waiter or a busboy. It carries about 60 pounds, comes in at over $12,800, and will replace your waiter or busboy. It's a poodoo, but it's a little robotic servant. It'll bring you your slack. Yeah, it navigates like it's no problem. 
All right, so if you're coming down to the CES, allow yourself at least an extra 15 to 20 minutes to be stuck in traffic. With an extra 180 to 200,000 people all coming to the event, it can get congested pretty fast. This is, helps uh, a company monitor the heat stress levels in their workers, is that right? Right. So it connects up, it's got a sensor that connects up to a hard hat, mm -hmm. and then here's the sensor, it clips to a person's ear lobe. Yes. Is that right, Cole? Yes, right. And then because you say, tell me a little bit about yeah, it. Yeah, the, the, because you know, we are you know, focusing about the, the ear lobe temperature, this is pretty much directly in the temperature of the brain inside. And the most of you know, people you know, get the temperature at the uh, down arm or ear, but uh, you know, it's sometimes in a little bit uh, different because of a sweat, some bro wind blowing, that not uh, you know, directly to the... So will this different. send real-time data to the, uh, to the office so uh, they can monitor all of the, the people out in their field and go, hey, wait a minute, worker Charles is getting stressed out, we better get him some right. water. This is, this is also sensor, sensor including the active sensor. If we you know, sit down, the up down, they're a little bit moving, up, you know, physically moving, they also sending in information to the info. So where can guys find you from? Lobe Sense? Is that, yeah. is that the way to do it? All yeah. right, guys. Lobe Sense. Perfect. They, they check in the temperature as well as their activity. If they a beep, beep in the alarm with no activity and a high temperature, and that they, they're gonna go to it and directly check in there first. Well, you can't go to the CES without running into a television or two, and there's some absolute mind-blowing new trends coming down the pipeline. But since you guys are more contractors and into construction stuff and don't really care about electronics, we're gonna skip all of that. I'll just show you this cool one, and uh, we'll go on to something totally different. So, it's a charging cable that you can wear as a bracelet. This is one I've wanted to do. Contractors, I firmly believe we don't sleep well. Our backs hurt, we work all day long. A lot of us are bigger dudes, a little bit overweight, hot sleepers. I mean, let's be very realistic. If you don't sleep well, I have searched for a potential answer and my wife she sweats the bed it's like she needs it super cold right and some dudes you guys are like that this may be an answer what is that this is the answer for you so we here at, at chili technologies we have the answer what we have right here is our chili pad and our Uller system our Uller system connects through an app and it sends water through our system to the pad itself. In that pad, you're able to cool it from 55 degrees all the way up to 115 degrees. It's dual zone, so each person can set their own temperature. Ideally, you want to set this as cold as you can stand it. The colder you get, the more sleep you're going to get without waking up. When you hit deep sleep, deep sleep comes after REM. So you go light sleep, REM sleep, deep sleep. Deep sleep is your restorative sleep. When you're in deep sleep, that is when you're going to feel rested. That one night a year that you actually wake up feeling pretty good, it's because you had a longer deep sleep. When you're in deep sleep, it is the hottest time that your body is generating heat because it's restoring. It's kind of like when you're metabolizing your food and your body's generating heat. Same type of situation is happening in deep sleep. So if you're able to cool your body down using our mattress pad, it's going to keep you in deep sleep longer, going to make you feel better, prevent Alzheimer's, prevent cancer, restore DNA, and just feel like you had a restful sleep. Holy crap. All right, so now, guys, I just want to share something with you. This is set at 55, so I can put my hand here, and it's cold, and then I slide it over, and it's at 115 degrees. 
And this is all, they don't have to buy a new mattress? They don't need a new mattress. This okay. fits on any existing mattress from all sizes, from a single on a king, if your spouse doesn't want to deal with it, all the way up to dual zones on a king, queen, single, anything. Where do they find it at, and what is the average price? Is average price starts at $4.99, goes up to $15.99 for one zone to two zone, all the way up to the king, cow king. You're gonna find it at chilitechnology.com. Chilitechnology.com. How does it actually work? Does it use water and does it make your bed wet or it, what? So it does use water. There's a couple chips in here that are similar to uh, a hotel refrigerator. They're called TECs, thermoelectric chips. Those chips heat and cool at extremely high rates, so it fastly cools off the water. It's a closed system, so the water gets cooled in here or heated in here and then pipes through with small tubes that you don't even feel because of the way that we designed it so with enough padding and enough thermal transfer that you're able to get that transfer without being annoyed by any feeling of the water running through. Okay, so you're not going to wake up soaking wet. It's not, not misting no, you. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, you're just, the t well, the water running through the tubes, your body is then uh, having the heat wicked away into the tubes with water and then sent it to the machine to get recooled. So you never get hot. It's just constantly drawing heat away from you. Dakota? Yes, my name is Dakota. I'm here with Zero. Okay, so Dakota, what makes this a smart floor cleaner? This is our form one. So what it does is use the bionic technology to separate the solids from the liquids. You can see right here we're going over the solids and the liquid and the same path with the same machine. So what we're going to do is we're separating these. So here is the liquid. Here is the solid. So now you can dump your liquid right down the drain. Dump this in the trash, wipe it down. You don't have to worry about clogging any drains or anything. What is this called? This is the High Zero 4 in 1 Bionic Mop. Is it out on the market now? Yes, it's out on Amazon. Retail price is $5.99. Okay, thank you. Very welcome. Can you tell me, actually, show me how it works? Yes. Okay, so we have this Palmer cleaning roller right here, which is just like a dog's tongue. Now they clean their plate of food. Does the same thing for your floor. Uh, the, Liquids get absorbed into this polymer roller. The solids get flicked in to right here and get cleaned off of this polymer roller by this brush right here. This brush rotates and flicks it all off. Okay. And any liquid stuck in here gets sucked up by the suction from our disposable sink right here. This sink goes right here and it cleans it and it puts fresh water down before it makes its full rotation. So you only clean with a fresh polymer roller every so time. <coughs> This conversation got started because we asked you, hey, if you got a stubborn stain on the floor and you want to squirt some water on, does this have it, but this does it all by itself? All by itself. All you do is if you have a stubborn stain, you just push this too, and it puts a little extra water down on this right here, but you know, there's no button or any, no constant trigger, no special trigger. Okay, all yes. right. All right, wow. thanks Dakota, appreciate it. That's what we got for you today, guys. But tell me what you think of this video because this is a little bit outside of my wheelhouse. You know, I like to bring you guys new tools, new equipment, new innovations. And this one has a little less tools and a little bit more innovation. And so I want to find out from you, would you be interested in seeing a few more of these videos coming out? Because I've got a lot more footage and a lot more really crazy cool stuff that I'd like to show you. So comment down below if you want more of these videos. I'll put out a few more of them for you. And that's all we got for you today. God bless you guys and go get them. And we will see you on the next video. Oh, and hey guys, well I got you here. Please hit that subscribe button and please share this video. And we'll see you on the next, uh, the next round.